Hi, this is Chris Rupp from the Guitar Training Camp, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to play a G major chord, an open G chord. All right, so the first thing I like to do, I think of this as kind of like my lead finger. I think you need to get this finger down first, and then the other fingers will learn how, where to fall into place. So we're going to start by taking our second finger, putting it on the third string, second fret. Then you're going to take your first finger and put it on the fifth string, second fret right here. Then you're going to take your third finger and put it on the second string, third fret. And then you're going to take your pinky and put it on the first string, third fret. And this, uh, this is a chord that you can, you can go ahead and strum all six strings. It's one of the best sounding chords on the guitar. It feels a little weird at first when you first start playing it, but you have to realize that you're going to have to, might have to play it 10, 20, 100 times. Uh, you have to build up the muscle memory in your fingers so that your hand can just kind of go to it eventually. Now there's a couple other ways to play an open G chord. This is the one that I would suggest probably using the most because you can go from G to E, I mean G to D, very comfortably. And a lot of songs will use um, chords that keep the, this third finger down. So to me this is probably the most useful way to play an open G chord. Another way that you can do it is if you um, uh, take your take your uh, pinky off and just put the your third finger on the first string third fret. That's also a chord we can strum off six strings. That sounds nice. Another way to finger a, an open G chord is the same thing, the same chord that I just played, except you're going to use your third finger here on the sixth string, on the third fret. Your second finger goes on the fifth string second fret, and then your pinky goes on the first string third fret. This may look really strange, but it's actually a fairly comfortable way if you're going between uh, open chords G and C a lot. It becomes a very quick, easy, instead of going like this, which is hard for people to do in the beginning, this might be a little easier to go between G and C. But I would still recommend using this as your main G chord and then using the other two whenever um, it feels like it's more appropriate in a song. And that's how you play an open G chord.